Okay, so in this video, I'm going to have a look at theorem 11 and I'm going to look at proving it under these headings here, given to prove construction and proof again. <clears throat> and theorem 11 basically says that if three parallel lines cut off equal segments on some transversal line, then they will cut off equal segments on any other transversal line. So this is our transversal line here. These three white lines are our three parallel lines. And you can see that the transversal line here has been cut into equal parts, two equal parts here. This line here, this part is equal to this part here. And the theorem says that if this happens, <coughs> if we have three parallel lines and it cuts a transversal into two equal parts in this case, then any other transversal, this is another transversal here, will also be cut into equal parts. In other words, DE will be equal to EF. So we're going to prove that. Now, um, I've written down what we're given here. We're given this, this diagram here, and we're given that AD is parallel to BE, which is parallel to CF. In other words, these three lines here are parallel. And we're also then told that AB, distance between A and B, is equal to the distance between B and C. That distance is equal to this distance here. So this is everything we're given at this stage. Okay, now what we need to prove then is we need to prove we need to prove now that DE, the distance from d to e, this distance here, is equal to this distance here. So we'll just write that out. So d e is equal to e f. Right, next section then, we're going to do construction. Um, okay, so the construction then is going to involve drawing <coughs> a line here parallel to this line here. So I'll just write it out first actually. I'll just write it out in English first and then we can do it. So the construction, um, we're going to draw uh, A E dash. We're going to draw A E dash and that's going to be parallel to DE. So we're going to draw a line here parallel to DE. Um, it cuts, so it's going to cut, it's going to be cutting EB, this line here, at E dash. and CF at F dash. So I'm going to draw a line down along here, parallel to this line here. It's going to cut this line at E dash and it's going to cut this line at F dash. So I'll do that first of all. Um, I'll do it in green again. So we're going to draw a line down along here like this. And we said that it's going to cut this line here at E dash. And it's going to cut this line here at F dash. Actually, I'll just take that out of the way and I'll put the F dash down here. Okay, and this line here then is parallel, remember, to this line here. Okay, so that's the first part of our construction. Now we're going to draw another line. <coughs> and this line is going to go up along this way. And this line will be parallel to this line here. So I'll just write that out. So we're going to draw uh, F dash B dash. So 
that's f dash up to b dash and that's going to be parallel to a b it's going to be parallel to this line here and it cuts it cuts e b so it cuts this line here at b dash and uh, it's actually going to cut <coughs> this line here and uh, da at a dash so i'll just draw this line up along here again i'll do it in green again so i'm going to draw a line <coughs> up along here like this and this here is going to be b dash and this here is going to be a dash <coughs> and this line here is parallel to this line here okay so that's our construction done now we want to run through the proof so let's just write that out so we've got the proof okay so <coughs> The proof then is going to involve a statement. We're going to write out statements here and we're going to write out a reason for the statements then. So the first statement then is that B dash F dash, the distance uh, B dash F dash, that distance there is going to be equal to BC. Uh, because the, and the reason here, this is the reason all our reasons here because <coughs> they are opposite sides in a parallelogram opposite sides in a parallelogram so if we look at that b dash f dash b dash f dash is equal to uh, bc this side here so this length here is equal to this length here because they're opposite sides in a parallelogram remember this is a parallelogram here by construction we drew this line parallel to this line we know that this line is parallel to this line so this is a parallelogram here so that side is equal to that side there okay so that's the first part um, second part then uh, that it must also then be just equal to the distance a b um, and that's kind of given or by assumption if you like so what i'm saying here is that we said that this is equal to this and then it must also mean that this side here is equal to this side here because BC is equal to AB so that distance there is equal to that distance there okay so next line then so the angle BE BAE dash so the angle BAE dash is equal to the angle E dash F dash and B dash why because they are alternate alternate angles so B let's have a look at that up here so what we're saying here is that the angle BAE dash, BAE dash, so I'll just put a dot there so you'll know which angle we're talking about. This, this angle here is equal to this angle here because they're alternate angles. Remember, this line is parallel to this line and we have a transversal going along here. So that angle is equal to that angle there. Okay. So next next line then 
uh, a e dash b so the angle a e dash b is going to be equal to the angle f dash e dash b dash why because these ones are vertically opposite so if we look at those two angles in our diagram uh, the two angles that we're talking about at this stage are this angle here and this angle here those two angles are vertically opposite so they're equal okay move on again so therefore we can say that the triangle uh, a b e dash is congruent to the triangle uh, f dash b dash e dash by angle side angle by asa so which two triangles are we talking about here let's have a look at these two well we've shown that this side is equal to this side this angle is equal to this angle and this angle is equal to this angle here therefore by angle side angle congruency uh, this this uh, triangle is congruent to this triangle here so let's just do the next bit we can also say that the distance a e dash is equal to the distance f dash e dash so what we're saying here simply is that uh, a e dash so a e dash that distance there will be equal to this distance here. If these two triangles are congruent, then that side will also be equal to that side there. Okay, so next step. Um, a E dash, the distance A E dash, this distance here is equal to D E and the distance f dash e dash is equal to f e uh, th again these are opposite sides of a parallelogram opposite sides of a parallelogram therefore so what we're saying here I'll just show you the diagram here again what we're saying in the what we've shown earlier is is that this triangle is congruent to this triangle here but we're saying now that a e dash that side there is equal to d e and e dash f dash uh, is equal to f e that side is equal to this side here because they're opposite sides of a parallelogram remember this is a parallelogram here and this is a parallelogram here so that side is equal to that side here so therefore DE is equal to EF therefore this must be equal to this because remember we showed that this side here of this congruent triangle is equal to this side here of this congruent triangle but we know that um, this side here is equal to this side here this side here is equal to this side here because they're opposite sides of a parallelogram therefore DE must be equal to EF therefore at this stage we can say 
that that side there is equal to that side there and that's really it we've basically um, drawn two triangles here this triangle here and this triangle here we've shown that both are congruent so therefore this side here is equal to this side here this side is equal to this side because this is a parallelogram here this side here is equal to this side here because this is a parallelogram here if this side is equal to this side DE must be equal to EF which is exactly what we wanted to prove here. DE is equal to EF.